Yo, what is up guys? Today is January 7th and I wanted to make this video real quickly because I'm trying to be much more consistent than I have been now that I have this new computer and such. It's important for me that I continue to document. Um, I actually need to start thinking about how, so I've started using YouTube a lot as well. Basically my new strategy has been I upload things to Steam it on DTube and then the next day I put it on YouTube that way I still may be likely to get a DTube upload because yeah, they won't do it if they find it on YouTube first so kind of gaming the system but I started thinking uh, I, I realized I needed to make this video because I think a lot of people who have stuck around on the Steemit blockchain who are still here some long time year long veterans now I got on the discord uh, the DTube Daily Discord yesterday, and I didn't say anything because I'm kind of shy, just because I've been away for so long. Um, but I know that I need to get back engaged with those people, um, and I'm going to. But I wanted to make this video to talk about how people should view their Steam earnings and what should they be doing with their Steam earnings. And I don't like try to make a habit out of giving financial advice, and this isn't like necessarily financial advice, but. I think that a lot of people have run away from Steam it because they haven't really looked at the Steam earnings platform in its relationship to the larger blockchain economy. Now, in order to kind of decipher this, I think it's important to look at uh, the creator of Steam it, uh, who is, well, the technical creator of Steam it is Dan Larimer, along with Ned, who, if I am correct, Ned actually contracted out Dan to do this. Dan is a longtime Bitcoiner. He's been involved in Bitcoin, you know, since Satoshi Nakamoto was still around. Um, not to get into Dan Larimer's history or anything like that, but it is well known, and Dan has talked about it himself, that the only cryptocurrency that he holds is Bitcoin. And I believe that this is because Dan, like myself, understands that of all the cryptocurrencies out there, Bitcoin is one, the only one that really matters. Two, the only one that has proven itself. And three, the only one that's use case that it, as it was specified in the white paper, is actually holding up. Um, and I actually believe that Steam is a, a close second, along with some other coins that I'm not going to talk about. But the Steam blockchain was created. The idea was to be a blockchain for content creators to be able to monetize their content versus uploading to you know YouTube or say Facebook or Instagram or something like that. The belief was that if you were creating the content, you should get rewarded for that. Now, they had to, well, at that time, it was not feasible to uh, have people get rewarded just in the form of Bitcoin. And on top of this, there is, um, how do I say this? Like a marketplace issue or like how to, more like a game theory issue, a little bit of both. Basically, what happens, let's say you were to, try to create an app where, um, you know, like Apex, where if I uploaded a photo, you could just, you know, like it and I would get rewarded in just Bitcoin, which I think is what someone like Dan Larimer would have wanted to create and maybe even Ned as well. The issue with this is that um, Bitcoin being a store of value and being the blockchain, the only way that you could get people to reward other people in Bitcoin is to first buy a bunch of Bitcoin and then reward them in it, right? So basically what they knew they had to do was they had to create a new cryptocurrency and peg it to Bitcoin. And they also, you know, created a, another cryptocurrency that was supposed to be pegged to the dollar and that's the steam back dollar. And the idea was that the cryptocurrency would float freely in the market, same as Bitcoin does. Anyone can go and buy it. They can go up and down in value and there would be an internal market uh, on the Steam platform where people could trade between the Steam back dollar and Steam cryptocurrency. And they would try to have this rate set and regulate this market in a way that made the arbitrage between uh, you know, the Steam back dollar and the Steam token freely decided on the market, not in their internal market. Um, that it would kind of balance each other out. 
um, because the idea was that the steam back dollar was always going to be pegged or closely pegged to the dollar because you needed something stable to reward people in. And so this is also part of the reason why steam creators sometimes get paid in steam and sometimes get paid in steam dollars is because the platform is reacting to the market value of those two things. And then the internal market is correcting for the arbitrage, right? That's what's going on. And so I know a lot of people do a lot of different things with their Steam and with their Steam back dollars. And I believe it's important that everyone can do whatever you want. If you want to convert that back to dollars, Australian dollars, you know, you want to, whatever you want to do, buy Dogecoin with it, you can do that. Like whatever you want to do is up to you. I believe that the best thing that you can do is to convert your earnings to Bitcoin. The reason why I believe this is because is because if if Bitcoin and the Austrian theory of money is correct and the hard soundness of Bitcoin actually just leads to um, this currency eventually being the one that is demanded by everyone uh, because Gresham's law sort of states that good money drives out bad money. Wait, bad money drive bad money drives out good money. I'm sorry. Um, and so right now, most use cases for Bitcoin is just hodling. It's a store of value, right? But the thought is that um, eventually people just won't want to get paid in the bad money at all. They'll just want Bitcoin. And to be able to have be having a stream of income in the form of Bitcoin um, at this stage in Bitcoin's development is actually really profound. Uh, because one, it not only teaches you how to value Bitcoin, right, in terms of your your work and your labor, um, you're also just positioning yourself to continue to increase those earnings over time. Um, which is why, ultimately, Dan Larimer just gave himself a bunch of steam power and walked away from the platform. Because what you need to remember is that Every time you post a video, you get paid half in Steam or Steam Bag dollars and half in Steam Power. And Steam Power is your sway over the network. It's what allows you to earn Steam or Steam Back dollars, right? That's it's it's what makes your vote worthwhile. Dan Larimer could just sit there and upvote himself all day. And actually, him and Ned got into a little bit of a, a scuffle back in the day because Ned was upvoting himself and. Dan saw this as an abuse of power, and I don't really care about that. But the point being is that every time you upload something to Steemit, you are investing in the Steemit platform. So like holding on to Steam back dollars or holding on to Steam or whatever is, is ultimately just silly because the Steam power that you are you know earning is your investment in the Steam platform. And so... My recommendation is that people take their whatever their earnings are, Steam or Steam back dollars, and start converting it to Bitcoin and hodling Bitcoin and holding it and earning the best form of money that mankind has ever has ever created, that's ever been created, um, found, should I say, whatever. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people just don't actually like. If you need, you know, to spend your money, like, or you want to spend your money, you should do that as well. But I, I, I do believe that doing that over the long term, if you are to start now, or if you had started a year ago and you had been doing that, which is actually what I've been doing, if the thesis of Bitcoin plays out, I believe that the Steam platform will make a lot of people very, very wealthy just off of that alone, earning Bitcoin, and being able to have a form of income, a stream of income in the form of Bitcoin. And it's really cool too if you work as well and you're able to earn, you know, fiat and whatever national currency is denominated, you can basically just be like con earning two forms of income, right? Um, in sort of the digital realm and the fiat realm. Uh, yeah, that's what I suggest. This video has gotten way too long. But I hope this is useful to someone. I hope someone has questions or maybe you disagree with me. Either which way, I'm open to hear your guys' thoughts and see you in the next video. Peace.